All right, guys, we got a pretty neat little video idea for you today. I decided that I'm going to take advantage of the Ryzen slash Pride mode in this game, and I'm going to have a little tournament. But the catch with this tournament is every participant is a current or former UFC lightweight champion. So these fighters are going to go against each other, and we're going to see who the ultimate champion is by the end of this tournament. I did have to include interim champions, so you'll see fighters like Dustin Poirier, Tony Ferguson, and Justin Gaethje in this tournament, simply because if I went with just the undisputed champions, I would have only had about five to choose from. We would have had Islam, Habib, Rafael, uh, Charles, and Connor. And that's just, yeah, that would have been a headache to try to figure out who would have had, like, a buy uh, tournament-wise. But anyway, let's just hop right into this. I'm going to go into our first core final here, and let's do Islam versus Dustin Poirier. No elbows from here. No head -butting. No to the groins. No grab rope. Okay? Strong on his fight. Okay? Shake. Okay? Sink on. Alright, they touch gloves at the beginning. Let's see. Ready? And we're underway with another Pride Fighting Championships. I'm the fight professor Stephen Quadros alongside El Wapo. Boss Rutten. And welcome to the show. If this was the real life, I would imagine that Islam would be the, the number one seed. Grand Prix. We have, in my opinion at least, the eight best lightweights on the planet in this. And tonight, we're you know, going Dustin to find Poirier out has, is uh, one. has lost a bit of momentum in real life. He's got a single yeah, that disappointing loss against Justin Gaethje. Huge win for Gaethje. Right on his back. See, uh, see how and Dustin Poirier does against Ben Los Angeles. No, uh, north -south position. Oh, he's the head. Oh, Islam has to get out of here. He's rocked. He's rocked already. He's going for an armbar. Arm nope, no, nope. he's going to lose it. Should have just kept striking. Over his shoulder, straight into the side you know, now Dustin Poirier is mounted. Beautiful reversal here. Anyway, I know Ben Law is kind of up and coming. It's on a bit of a hot streak. There's the half I mean, Dustin Poirier has been in the fight game for a while. And he's in guard again. Be interested to see how he does. Once again into side. And there's the mount. Oh, I like Both that. these guys that are way too eager to transition. He can't reverse every time. Oh, triangle by Islam. Triangle choke. Oh, it looks good. Oh, this is actually pretty good. He might get it. Oh. Nope. Looks like Dustin's gonna get out. That was close. That was a Steve McQueen would have been proud. That was a really good attempt by Dustin. There's by uh, when they get into north south position. It's true that the man on top Oh no, there's the mount. Not expect Dustin Poirier to be holding his own on the ground like this. So he had the current UFC lightweight champion hurt. He reversed it. Nice, nice. Mostly a ground battle. Interesting. And there's the half guard. Oh, but then he gets reversed. Now, every time I turn this game on, I'm just blown away by right the amount of detail that they've been able to add in. Position. But, oh, he's got to rock again. Is he going to continue striking? Look at the punishment he's getting. Is he going to stop it? Here. Nope, he survives yep. for now. Yep, yep. And he the over -under. Oh, nice little sweep by Islam. Transitioning right into side control. If there is one thing I would change about this mod, though, I would have kept Pride the same. I would not have changed Pride at I know Ryzen is the modern day up. version of Pride, but. Beautiful Looking at the there. green gloves, man. I, I'm sorry. I think that it's such a lovely color. Control. I think the, I think the pride oh, this is gonna be gloves, the blue ones, were 
so much better. Oh my god, Islam is getting pieced up in this round. How can he survive that? Got rocked three times on me. Nice reversal. He's gonna get finished if he's not careful. Oh, that one connected. Oh my gosh. There's a big right. Dustin Poirier is position. on his way to a, a huge upset in this opening in this opening quarterfinal round. And he's got him in half guard once more. Interesting. Let's not. And both men trade. And there's Guess he got a little wary of uh, Islam's triangle. Why? No part of that. that kick well with Ooh, with the nice knee by Islam. Know if that's a great strategy. God, this opening round is so long. Straight to Keep forgetting it's ten minutes. As opposed to five. And that combination found its mark. Really weeds out the weak though, endurance wise. Once again, defends the takedown with the sprawl. Somebody's oh my gosh, this is that's a boy is on fire in this fight. He looks so sharp, both on the feet and on the ground. Oh my god, Th this has to be it. This has to be it. There's no way he survives. Oh. Does support takes out the, the current UFC lightweight champion in the opening quarter final. Those knees to the head were brutal. He was getting dominated, Ooh. so the referee really had no choice but to stop this one. That was gnarly to and look at. So bad for his not, not gonna lie. Defend yourself. The referee has no choice but to stop it. Those knees to the head, man. They're a game changer. Kind of wish that uh, UFC allowed this, allowed knees to the head. It would stop. It would solve the problem of fighters trying to stall with that that silly rule of like, nope, if you have a hand on the ground, you can't knee. It would solve so much stalling issues. All right, huge win for Dustin Poirier. Moving on. No elbows from here. No head butting. No to the groins. No grab rope. Okay. Strong on fight. Okay. Shake. Okay. Sink on. Judge. 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 Ready? Welcome to the Bright Fighting Championship. My hey, name is Bob. Our Rudin, second quarterfinal fight between Justin Gaethje and Rafael dos Anjos, aka Rafael dos Anjos. These two are competing for a spot in the Grand Prix semifinals. Yeah, I know USC 300 is coming up in, in what is it, like April? Well, if it was Pretty me, big event. I know the people's main event is going to be between Justin Gaethje and Max Holloway. And I will be rooting for Max Holloway. Uh -oh, don't get me wrong. I like both fighters. I just, I don't know. Kind of rooting for Max. I just, I just don't want him to get, you know. I don't want Max Holloway to get knocked out. Justin Gaethje is probably the hardest puncher that Max Holloway has ever fought. And the power that Justin Gaethje has has been known to change careers. You can't take too many of those. For instance, I don't know how many of you guys remember James Vick. You probably remember him from the loss, the from the uh, big losing streak that he had to end his UFC career. But before, before that big losing streak, he was actually a pretty hot uh, UFC prospect. He, at one point, was 8-1 and one in the UFC. James Vick. And then he fought Justin Gaethje. And when Justin Gaethje knocked him out in the first round, that's when James Vick went on that really long losing streak. He kept getting knocked out and finished by like pretty much everyone. And even more recently, Justin Gaethje ended the 12 fight win streak of Tony Ferguson. And Tony Ferguson has not been the same since then. Tony went from winning 12 straight fights in the UFC to losing 7 straight. Power that Justin Gaethje has changes a man. 
I know Max Holloway has never been knocked out. Actually, I don't think Max Holloway has even been dropped. But, uh, Justin's power. Open guard again. Kind of makes me worried for Max a little bit. Let's himself get reversed. Postures up. I'm sure it's gonna be five to nine. Though. I, I've never seen any of those people. Ooh, triangle from RDA. Pulling down on the head. I think Justin Gates is gonna get out of it though. Yep. And he escapes. It was. Oh, he's got him hurt. Oh, and he just continues. Yeah, I've never seen Max Holloway or Justin Gaethje in a boring fight. And he's got him in half guard once more. Strong start by Justin Gaethje in this first round. And he's got that guard open once again. And he shuffles right into side. And there's a. Oh, he's got him right again. And he's hurt. Oh. Is this gonna be it? That's not canvas what we're hearing right now. Oh. I'm blown away with with the fact that he could take all that punishment. That was RDA crazy. is just surviving at this point. And there's mission control. Oh, it's swept. Oh. Reversal here. Can RDA get something going here? We see a comeback. What a shot! Can he recoup from this? He can. Amazing this comeback. Is, he is not human. I thought he was done. Have we seen both fighters rocked in this opening round? I'm just surprised that Justin Gaethje right is so content to stay on the ground. It's hard to use reversals. You would think Justin would just want to stand up. Oh, guess he's just stubborn. He sneaks up high with a rubber guard, and you've got to be flexible to do the rubber guard. Oh, nice little pass from Justin Gaethje. Oh, there's a cut. There's the half guard. And he's in guard again. There's the half guard again. Man, oh! Brutal punch. That's it. That's it. What? Oh, 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 that was some brutal ground pound, Justin Gaethje. Melvin Gallard has sent a message with this one. All right, both Dustin Poirier and Justin Gaethje making a statement with these opening fights. Oh, the ref was so, right was so the slow to stop him. Right in there. Those three punches afterwards were really not Look, this, he was already the out, and then he lands like the three more punches before boss, the ref stops it. Here it is again. Ugh. Poor RDA. All right. Well, Justin Gaethje and Dustin Poirier are going to move on to the semifinals. That's going to do it for this episode. Let me know down in the comments who you think is going to win this whole tournament. Were you surprised by some of these results? I know I was. Anyway, I'll do it. See you on the next one. Huh, achievement.